Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S-1 Ison and WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Part 15. Hot. Binary. Action. We have a new photograph of Ison, which is decent and solidifies my theory. Don't you know that Ison is not alone and that its debris field is not uniform micron dust. All right, so let's get to the, the meat of this today's video, which is the new photograph we have out, which shows a strange structure and shape to Ison. It makes it look like Ison has a moon or a companion or a binary friend with it. You see, Ison is dragging a 400,000 mile tail. It's got a 3,100 mile coma and is about three or four miles wide. And you see all the shit that Ison's kicking off ain't uniform across the board. Do you understand this? In part five, I noted that, hey, look, Ison has a companion. This comet is too comedy delicious for you, babe. Hey, look at that. Comma Ison has a friend with it. I guess everybody can feel better now. Comma Ison has a friend. Count them one, two. Hello, Dave. Okay, cool. And oddly enough, they had a photograph from the Hubble of Ison. And then when I showed Ison having a companion, NASA released a new version of the Hubble photo showing it split in the middle. So I thought that was kind of odd. I didn't mention it until now that we have another photograph showing that Ison might have a body with it. Which makes sense. If asteroid QE2 was only like 1.2 kilometers wide and had a moon, I don't think it's unnatural for something as big as Comet Ison, which is three to four miles, to have a binary moon with it. You see, even if Ison starts to break up with its gravity and velocity those pieces are going to still continue on the same path at the same speed i mean it's not all just going to turn into harmless vapor we know it's shedding 850,000 pounds of dust a minute per second but if it is a dirty snowball dirty black hard snow and ice don't melt all nice and easy like so these chunks that break off are going to stay in its gravitational path now here's my deal that like if ice and does break up as it goes around the sun when it whips around the sun isn't it going to create like a shotgun effect and make the entire broken nucleus shoot out at everything just like a scatter gun i mean let's hope if anything it's rock salt because you can survive a blast of rock salt in the ass but if it's something else you can't really survive a shotgun blast very well man so the whole idea that nasa instantly debunked that ison is not alone makes me think that nasa does not understand words or the meaning of the words that they use because there's no way comma ison is alone okay it has a four mile nucleus it has a 3100 mile coma it's got a 400,000 mile tail and that is all made up of debris and junk and there's no way that all that debris and junk is the exact same micron size there has to be small stuff there has to be medium sized stuff and there's got to be some large stuff like this giant thing is dragging a ton of crap with it and so for you to say it has friends sounds like it's got trillions of friends to get into a semantical debate about how big it is I mean, it would be a lot better if you guys would put a camera on it and take some video of it for us to look at. Do you understand that? So just giving the, us these basic like, oh no, it did it. Ison is totally alone. That is not true on any sense of the word. Ison might not have giant companions with it, but it is definitely not alone. So for you guys to say stuff like that is just obfuscating. There is no possible way that everything in its debris tail is exactly the same shape and micron size. You guys are trying to create a picture of the dust just melting off, vaporizing into space harmlessly. It's not just ice and water. It's something more. It comes from beyond. It comes from beyond where Voyager is. And Voyager's way out there. It's the government and the media who have muddled the data and then shaped the points of the discussion. So much so that to even ask a question at all makes you look like a fool, a conspiracy theorist, or a tinfoil hat turd. I mean, you can't even ask questions. I've been asking a bunch of people just like, why haven't you guys put a camera on it? And nobody will answer. I mean, what? Is there something that suddenly became way more interesting than Ison? You can tell me that, NASA. Like, you guys were fascinated by Ison, and then all of a sudden you lost interest. Is there something new that you guys found that is way more interesting? People want to know. People just like me. You can tell me. I won't tell nobody. Well, nobody outside of my YouTube channel. Can you show me your damn that is good face? Okay, now give me some sugar, baby. Everything we know about Ison is based on reflected light. So I'm still guessing that the size estimate still remain about three to four to five miles. That's big. And if Ison breaks up, it's going to slingshot that shit around the sun just like a shotgun. Got me? What we do here is look at all the possibilities, but things have gotten weird 
you know, I mean, DA-14 was NASA's first fail or incomplete I can ever remember, to be honest. We can blame the sequester if we want, which means they're going to be super sequestered by the time Ison gets here. I mean, NASA says, hey, it was, a, it was a one in a million coincidence that a meteor happened to explode over Russia the same day DA-14 came around. Coincidence. I love it when NASA's like, yeah, yeah, coincidence. I showed in the video before, it looks like NASA has a friend. Math would say there's a 100% chance it has a friend. So that's what we've covered today. I know you're not allowed to talk about science, sex, religion, or politics at parties. I know, no, I know. It's the reason I haven't been invited to a party in three years. But this is my YouTube channel. It's my party. If I wanna talk about science, sex, religion, and politics, I'm free to do so, and you're free to stop watching or unsubscribe or not subscribe at all. Now we have that out of the way. At my party, I enjoy discussing superhero subjects, and comments of the century are right up my superhero alley. It's like birthday cake to me, and yes, I am a fat kid. So so what Thor does is Thor prepares for the worst and prays for the best. And I do all the work in between like it's a big test. Because I feel together, united, we can all do better than the rest.